Hi Capricorn, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to another You versus Them. Capricorn, let's see how you're feeling now, how the person connected to your energy is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And Capricorn, these are general collective readings, may not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. Welcome back all my subscribers and welcome in newcomers. Capricorn spirit. All right, newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you, one side will be for your person. And in the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies. If this is your reading, Capricorn, you may, yeah, you'll know which side you resonate best with. For me, this is going to be person A and this is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, eight of pentacles in reverse. So somebody feels the other person is not putting in the work uh, to make this happen. I do sense one person is watching, spying, uh, feeling very overwhelmed and burdened by something. I don't know what the something is. I'll clarify it. But they are in solitude. They're trying to figure out a way to end this, you know, conflict so that peace can be restored. Uh, they are a little afraid to take action, but they do want a partnership. The other person feels heartbroken. They feel, yeah, you know what? They broke my heart. They lied to me. They cheated on me. I wanted, a, you know, a commitment with them. I waited for them. Uh, but uh, somewhere they feel that as much as they wanted to rebuild with one person, that person never stepped up, never put in the work. So let's see what's going to happen then. I'm going to clarify all these cards for you, but let's ask the universe first. Uh, Spirit, tell me what's going on with these two. Why are they feeling this way at a deeper level? What's going on? Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person. All right, here it is. And the first card here says, second chance. Someone is trying again or giving this connection or wants another chance. Somebody wants a second chance. I can see that clearly here. Focused. Someone is determined to keep this connection going. They are watching. They are spying. They are a little scared to take action, but they are desperately wanting a second chance codependency someone may be relying too much of, on this connection now i don't know which one is codependent let's figure it out uh, but first um, capricorn let's start also with your dialogue message cards let's see if you guys could say something to each other now what that would be and then i'll clarify these capricorn and that person spirit if they could say something to each other now what would that be Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Just a few more from another deck. Capricorn and their person spirit. All right. And a few more from a third deck as well. And then we'll start the reading. Capricorn and their person spirit, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Capricorn and that person. Capricorn and that person. All right, good to go. Let's start this reading. And Capricorn, if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is omkarataro at gmail.com. You can reach me there. It's there in the description box below as well. So the first card here says, I want you to trust me. Trust that I'll know the right time to take things to another level. I keep hearing songs and it always reminds me of you and I. Trying to gather up the courage to get in contact with you. I want to make things right between us. I love the way you are. I know someday, somewhere, another time we will meet again. I need to work on myself. You've changed a lot since we first met. My love for you never goes away. I saved all your texts, all your old texts, and I still read them and think about you a lot. The way I felt about you really had me confused. 
I'm sorry that our relationship didn't work out. All right. So these were some of your messages, uh, Capricorn. If these were resonating with your storyline, let's start this reading. But first, I'm going to take an angel blessing card. And this one is going to be Capricorn for the viewer. Now, you could be watching. Maybe your cross watchers here watching for your energy. So a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for the viewer. Here it is. And uh, this says pause. So there is a pause going on in this connection at this time. Maybe you both are learning some important lessons in your uh, separate corners or something. Pause. All right, Spirit. Now tell me what's going on. Let's start with person A. And newcomers, please remember, these are not gender-based. I'm not guessing which side you're on. If this is your reading, you'll immediately pick up which side you're on and who this person is for you. And yes, it could be a love interest, a spouse, an ex, a secret crush. Could even be a business partner, relative, or a best friend or something. So use your judgment there. I'm going to focus on person A first, and that's it. Later, I'll move to the other side. So person A, in your feelings, in your emotions, uh, page of swords. What's the page of swords? Oh, person A is watching the other person. They, they could be feeling that the other person is out there, single, happy, making all their own dreams and wishes come true. And that's kind of um, not going very well with them. They're feeling burdened. They're feeling overwhelmed. They feel this connection is over. Why? Why are you so upset seeing them happy and single? Ten of Wands. Because they feel it's not fair that the other person walked away from them emotionally. Uh, they do... I think they were waiting. I think they were waiting that we can get together or maybe we can apologize to each other or I can apologize to them. I do feel they are disappointed that the other person seems very happy without them and not really bothered. Um, maybe is trying to see what else is out there or something. Why do you feel this way, person A? Tell me. Because the other person is not really talking to them or you guys could be on a pause right now, not communicating about the issues. And uh, person A feels... Uh, going through the dark night of the soul they feel it's over and my my person they're wa I, they're watching they're watching i don't know how maybe through social media or something seeing person be very single and you know happy in their own life so why do you feel this way person eh? tell me hermit because uh, maybe they're lonely yeah they they or they could have been waiting they could have been waiting or praying and wishing that, you know, sooner or later, sooner or later, maybe this chapter will not shut down. You know, it's just a temporary pause right now. Maybe we can end this conflict and peace can be restored into this connection. Six of Swords. Six of Swords. Yeah, that, that would have made them really happy. Person A says, yeah, that's what I was hoping for, that, you know, the broken hearts could be healed and uh, we could get happiness back again. But right now they seem very pissed off, very angry to me. Why? Why are you upset and angry? Because I, I think they desperately still want this. I mean, they the person A has been wishing, praying and everything and feeling like, like, you know, they're not getting what they want. They could even be angry and upset that their person is, you know, going to give all that love to somebody else and, you know, uh, have commitment with somebody else. It's making them mad. It's making person A very upset and very angry. Yeah, look at this. They're very angry, very upset about the fact that the other person is out there celebrating, you know, meeting new people maybe or has given up on them. It's it's making them feel insecure maybe okay so how do you see the connection now person a how do you see person b and how do you feel about this connection king of wands in reverse what's the king of wands in reverse king of wands in reverse i think they're scared to take action Person A is very, uh, maybe they, they were the ones who were being selfish and self-centered in the past. So now, now they are scared. How do I take action now? Um, I do want to because I, I want I want to end the fight. They're hoping there's no other competition around them. I think they still want this partnership of equal give and take. They, uh, what's the tower? Yeah, it's come, it's like... They've come to the realization now that maybe their own past stubborn behavior was the cause of some bad memories created. Uh, maybe that's how the tower happened. But whatever said and done, they are still hoping for a revival of this connection. They want a 
a second chance. Person A is the one who wants a second chance because they're very discontent. Very discontent, bored, lonely, they, they have other options who they don't want. They're missing the cup that they had. So what action person A will finally take, I will open later. Let's go to the other side, see how person B is feeling and then we'll do the action cards together. So person B, what about you? Three of Swords, you seem to be heartbroken in this connection. Yeah, person B says they, they, were, they were a bit of a narcissist. They were rude to me. They were mean to me. They tried to control me at every step and uh, they broke my heart. They, yeah, person B says I've, I've taken back my love now. Uh, earlier I used to, used to love them a lot, but I've taken back my cup of love because they, they're a liar, they're a cheat. Uh, they, they didn't do right by me. So I am not going to chase them anymore, Rumkara Taro. I know my value. I know my worth. I'm attracting in good things into my life now. I'm, uh, you know, the wheel of fortune is in my favor, I feel. I feel, I, you know, it's time for me to get unstuck from this situation, put a full stop to this connection now because, well, it's time. So why do you feel this way, person B? Ten of Pentacles. What's the Ten of Pentacles? I think person B could have somebody new in their mind. They could be uh, moving towards new love or wanting new love. So any, 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 they want a connection which will fight for them or stand up, you know, through thick and thin with them, offer them a ten of pentacles, a long lasting connection. So yeah, person B could be now seeing what else is out there. Uh, three of Wands. Three of Wands, because they feel I'm exhausted and tired of this inconsistent communication, rash talks between the two of us, we always end up arguing, I can't do this anymore, I'm exhausted, I'm tired and I'm giving up, it's time for me to take a leap of faith in a new direction, right, with somebody new. So how do you feel about this connection then, how do you feel about this person, person B? tower in reverse. Person B says the tower has already happened and I'm going to allow it to fall because they treated me like an option or they had options or somebody lied or cheated in this connection. Somewhere they feel that their person is, you know, uh, insecure or not stepping up and not offering them what they should have been offering them. King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they were disappointed in this connection. Person B says I was very disappointed that my person didn't end up being that partner for life and they didn't do right by me. I think person B is the one who could be kind of now be in two minds about who they want to have a happily ever after with. So let's see, let's see. And somewhere they know that person A is watching them. I don't know why I just got that. Person B says, I know they watch me all the time. And, uh, and yet, anyway, so let's see. Let's do the action cards and while I shuffle this deck now. Um, if I can request you, remind you Capricorn, if you could just tap the like button for me please, the thumbs up button. It really helps the videos to circulate, keeps me motivated to do more Capricorn readings for you. And uh, newcomers, repeating viewers, do like, share, subscribe to the channel. We welcome you in. So person A, action from your end towards person B or otherwise. Uh, King of Cups in reverse. Person A is feeling a void in their heart. They feel the lack of love in their heart now. Why is that? King of Cups in reverse. I think this person was still hoping. They were still hoping that um, they can get this connection back. They were hoping they are, or maybe they still are. But they could be a little fearful that the other person has already packed their bags and left. Yeah, they, this person is only scared. I mean, this entire deck is upright. Uh, but only this card came out in reverse. And that's exactly what I had earlier as well. King of Wands in reverse. I think they're a little scared to take action because of maybe of something that happened in the past. Some lying, cheating behavior happened or something happened. So 
they are they are missing they are missing love in their life and they were hoping i think that sooner or later things would work themselves out so person b what about you action from your end towards person a or otherwise <laughs> person b says yeah 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 they just a player they are just a player all they want is to have attention from others uh knight of wands what's the knight of wands as an action card person b is i think more adamant on choosing new love they could be single right now they could be single they could be independent but they do know that they have a lot of attention on them maybe they have a lot of suitors who are angling for their attention or something person b is right now seeing person a as immature or maybe a player and they are uh, more focused on new love that's at least this week they are so eight of pentacles in reverse spirit why is the overall energy the eight of pentacles in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse spirit king of pentacles ace of swords eight of swords page of pentacles and the tower i think there's a, just a lot of overthinking going on and even though i think one person wants to talk and wants to do the right thing uh, this overthinking is uh, bringing in the tower which is not nobody is putting in the work yeah there is silence between the two of you so yeah until somebody doesn't make an effort to heal things things are not going to move i mean right now like spirit says guys are going through a pause this is like standstill blocked energies that's what i have for you capricorn till next time then love and light take care namaste